y'all. I'm back in my kitchen and I welcome you to Meemaw's house. Today I'm going to be making a banana pudding. Now back in the day, my mother used to bake our banana puddings. She used to make the custard and put the bananas in and the vanilla wafers and all of that and bake it with the meringue. I'm not doing all that because see this is the new school way of doing it. So. I'm going to make a nice cool banana pudding to start off our summer desserts and I'm going to bring you along. So I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. I appreciate it and I welcome you to Mimo's house. Well, as usual, here are our ingredients and our equipment that we'll use to make our banana pudding. We're going to use two packets of Jell-O pudding, banana cream and vanilla. I like the, the taste of that. We'll use four bananas, a cup or a cup and a half, depending on how thick I want my pudding to be, sour cream, some zero sugar Cool Whip. I try to cut back on sugar where I can. So this does not alter the taste or the texture of the pudding. So I add the zero sugar Cool Whip to taste, vanilla wafers, and regular 2% whole milk. Okay, we're going to start making our pudding. And I'm going to add in my pudding two cups. of milk for one packet and then a cup and a half for the second packet. Because I want the pudding to be thick enough because we'll be adding the sour cream and the Cool Whip. I'm going to start with three cups of milk first, just to see how thick this becomes. It doesn't take long for it to thicken up. You'll whip the pudding for about three to five minutes, depending on how thick you want it. This is getting nice and thick, and it's almost time to stop. You see it's thickening up already? And that's what we want. You see, this is the thickness that we want. So for those two boxes of pudding, I only use two cups of milk. Now it's time to stir in our sour cream. And that's about a cup of sour cream, a cup and a half of sour cream.
So you see, I have to taste my pudding mixture to make sure that I have just the right sweetness for uh, after I mix the sour cream in. And this does have just enough of a sweetness. I don't want it too sweet because I'm going to add the Cool Whip to lighten it up a little bit. So now let's add the Cool Whip. And I've added a half of the container of Cool Whip. Whip. Okay, so it is now mixed. So let me taste my mixture just a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's nice and fluffy. It's not too sweet. That's what you want. And you want to taste your stuff as you go with any recipe if it is safe. So we have our pudding mixture done. Now it's just a matter of assembling the whole dessert. Now here are all the ingredients that we will put together to make our banana pudding. We'll start by putting down a layer of vanilla wafers. And yes, I do have a thing about the vanilla wafers laying down in the right direction. I don't know why, I just do. You will probably notice that as I'm spreading the pudding mixture, some of the uh, cookies are falling down off the side of the wall. So I will have to hold them in place so that uh, the pudding mixture can get them pressed up against and stationary up against the sides of the dish. And we'll add our bananas. And we'll add our last layer of pudding mixture.
Now I have a bag and a tip, the star tip, and that I'm going to add whipped topping to. The leftover whipped topping that we had from mixture, from my mixture. and some of my new package of whipped topping. And I'm just piping rosettes all along the edge to cover up the cookies and to make the dessert pretty. I need to refill my bag. And finish it up. I like to cover up my vanilla wafers. Now I'm going to take vanilla wafers and just simply crumble them up in my hands just to decorate. So there you have it, my banana pudding. Very easy, very simple, very cool dessert. I hope that you are willing to try that because it's a great dessert. Let me show it to you one more time. So with that banana pudding, I always put mine in the refrigerator for 24 hours before we eat it because that will allow those t the taste of the banana and the vanilla pudding and the vanilla wafers to all meld together nicely. And it is a very good dessert for your Easter Sunday dinner. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you give this recipe a try. Y'all be blessed. Bye.